One of the fundamental movements on the ground is the hip escape. Something like this, where I'm moving my hips away from my opponent. The converse movement of that is called the hip shovel, where I'm bringing my hips underneath my opponent, usually to sweep him or to off balance him or to attack, but usually it's a sweep. So that movement, it's not a bridge. I'm not bridging up and going. I am running my legs underneath my opponent, my opponent here, and then I'm scooting my hips along the ground and dumping them here. And I might need to walk a little bit to dump them over. You can do this with a heavy bag. You grab a heavy bag, you grab it about halfway, and you have the bottom part of it near your legs elevated because you need to run your feet underneath it. So we're here. Got my arms under it. I've got a body lock on it. And you see how there's room under the bag. I'm going to insert my leg under it, walk a bit further, and now I'm not so much bridging the bag over as I am moving my hips underneath it. From here, I insert, I plant my foot, I walk, and I dump. I insert, move my foot closer, walk, and dump. From this angle, just like this, we're here, I insert my leg, I begin walking, 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 and dump them over. My leg's not already under, I go under, bring this leg close, walk, and dump. Not a perfect simulation of the hip shovel movement, but it gives you the idea of getting underneath your opponent and continue to move underneath him and take him over the other side. If you do this, then when you start applying hip shovel type sweeps, they'll be really easy. At least they'll have the mechanics down and the actual sweep itself will be easy.